If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a plank. This week's episode was decided by my patrons. If you would like to vote on what I draw, head over there and throw a dollar at me if you have one to spare. Last time when I did Wings of Fire designs, I was kind of having some difficulties trying to figure out sea wing designs, but this time I'm drawing rain wings, and while there was definitely some things I was worried about, I feel a lot more confident in drawing this lazy tribe of fruit-loving dragons. In general, I just really love the head shape and body of the rain wings. The long, snake-like bodies and dipped snout is just very appealing to me, and I already did drawings of our main girl here, Glory, soon after reading the books that I really liked. Unlike with Tsunami and Clay, where I was still trying to figure out exactly how to draw their tribal features, Glory's design just clicked with me right away. Simplifying Glory's design, on the other hand, was a bit more of a challenge. Rain wings are kind of complicated designs by nature. Their scales can change to any color they want, often inspired by Birds of Paradise color palettes, and they have extra features as well. Frills on the sides of their heads, a horn on their nose, gradient colored wings, and... well, you get the idea. In my designs for mud wings and sea wings, I tried to narrow down these special features to what I felt was the bare necessities. But it's a bit harder to do that with rain wings because I feel like so much of their extra features are pretty important to the species. Rain wings are beautiful, multicolored dragons, free of a lot of the cares and worries of the other tribes and living in a fruity paradise. The head frills are a great tool for helping to distinguish different rain wings from each other, and their horned nose and beak-like snout seem like pretty important tools for their survival and part of the aesthetic of the rainforest they live in. So I try my best to simplify in other ways, keeping the color spots on Glory to a minimum where I can, but I'll be honest, she still has one heck of a design, and it's a big old color palette. There's certainly ways to make her simpler by removing all of her light blue and yellow spots, stripes, and making her wings a single color, but I didn't have the heart to do it for this piece. I like her looking colorful and unique. <laughs> Now comes the really tricky part, though. I wanted to experiment with the color-changing scales on Glory and see if I could find some color palettes to reflect her mood. I think it would be a fun exercise to give each rain wing their own set of mood-based color palettes, something that was unique for each dragon. I didn't have time to go too deep into that here, but I did try to figure out how to make the scale-changing work without losing the character's identity. I first drew some quick expressions for Glory, just some rough drabbles that I can throw some color on. I tried a lot of different stuff here. I basically just threw things at the wall and saw what stuck. I found that doing a complete palette swap for Glory really just made her look strange. She didn't look like Glory anymore to me, which is a big problem. So I tried keeping certain elements of Glory's original color palette in with the new colors to see if that helped, and it did. Keeping similar color values also helped a lot. Even if the hue is completely different, having a similar color value helped make the new color palette still look like Glory. And just to clear this up, if people don't know the difference between color hues and color values, basically a hue is the kind of color you're using. So like reds, red or blue is a different hues from each other. Whereas if it's a color value, you're talking about like how much white or black is in a color. So like light blue and light red would have a similar color value, even though they're not the same hue. I hope that makes sense. Another thing that helped was only making parts of Glory scales change color palettes while the rest stays the same. Like with the embarrassed Glory I have here. Glory is known to try to stop her scales from changing to hide her emotions, so having just parts of her scales betray her true feelings not only helps her look more like Glory, but also says something about her character. And I am always a big fan of the character design being used to say something about the character. And of course, Glory isn't the only rain wing in the world, so let's draw a few others. I decided to draw Kinkajou and Tamarin. These two are kind of similar in stature in the books, both very small dragonettes, but their personalities really help make them distinct from each other. 
all of Kinkajou's features are small, except for her eyes and head frills, accentuating her bubbly and big personality. And Tamarin's features are softer, unthreatening, longer, while her frills stay down. Since she's blind, she doesn't use them in the way other dragons do to convey emotion. She'll lift her ears to listen to things, but her frills mostly hang peacefully at the side of her head. I found an image of this rainbow snake online when image searching for colorful reptiles and birds for inspiration, and I thought it was the perfect color palette for Kinkajou. So I just followed my gut there, and I'm happy I did, because I really think this color palette works perfectly for her. Tamarin took a bit of trial and error, just like everybody else, to reach a color palette I liked. I'm really not used to using bright color palettes like these very often. I'm much more used to more natural earth tone kind of colors. So this was fun to experiment around with, and I hope you guys liked the end result. That's going to be all from me this week. I hope you guys really liked these designs. I adore the concept of rain wings, but they certainly do present some interesting challenges when put to a visual format. Let me know how you would tackle some of these issues, and I'll see you all next time. Please stay inspired.